So a few weeks ago I dropped a video on copying the SB Dunk High New York Mets and this being my first SB Dunk High cop for retail. I also talked about that there was a third sneaker in the baseball pack that was released. And at the time I said I didn't even know if this was going to release in the UK. Well guess what? That sneaker did release in the UK and I managed to cop it for retail. So maybe it's now easier to cop SB Dunk Highs. Let's find out. Hey what's going on Lucy back with my video. And today I'm checking out the Nike SB Dunk High San Francisco Giants. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel and you like all kinds of content related to sneaker culture, please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you do like to see the video, please give it a thumbs up as it really will help the channel grow. And stay tuned for the end of the video for those on feet looks. Now today I'm checking out a Nike SB Dunk High that somehow I managed to cop again for retail and that is the Nike SB Dunk High San Francisco Giants. So this sneaker dropped recently on the sneakers app for a price of £109.95 here in the UK or $120 out in the US. And again, for me, I did not think it was an easy cop. I actually thought this colorway was easier to rock and would go with more fits. But I guess people just aren't feeling Nike SB Dunk highs at the moment. So I got my W, got it in hand, and I'm really happy. I think the details are fire. I think the materials are nice. I'm really happy to add my second SB Dunk high to their collection. So a bit of background on this sneaker. So this is the third sneaker that's been released as part of the baseball theme Nike SB are currently dropping. So we had the Nike SB Dunk High New York Mets, we've had the Nike SB Dunk Low Phillies, and we have the Nike SB Dunk Low Dodgers. Now, for me, the Dodgers is fire. That's definitely a must cop. I took an L on that on the sneakers app, so I'm looking at the playing resale for that, but I haven't quite pulled the trigger. But for me to have the SB Dunk High, I think it's a nice Constellation W. Uh, obviously, the low is always gonna be more popular. But I guess the highs just aren't as hyped anymore, which is fine for me because I'm happy to cop them for retail. Now what is surprising about this sneaker is there's still almost a full size run available on the sneakers app and this is a couple of weeks after the drop. So in hindsight, the retail W isn't as amazing because it's pretty much sitting. And I guess people just aren't feeling the colors. For me, I think it's fire. I really have in the collection. And I think people are sleeping a lot on this sneaker. So let's check it out. Start with a box, so you get purple Nike SB Dunk box, so obviously Nike, white swoosh, SB, writing on the top. Then we have just the Nike SB logo right there. Then we have a size tag, it's the Nike SB Dunk High Pro Premium. The colour is coconut milk, black, team orange, and it's my true size, US 14, UK 13. Pop lid. Standard tissue paper you get with SBs. And here we have today's sneaker. The Nike SB Dunk High San Francisco Giants. So here we have the sneaker. So the colour scheme is based on the San Francisco Giants home jersey and I think they've really knocked it out of the ballpark, excuse the pun, uh, with these colours. Uh, so if you're a San Francisco Giants fan, it's definitely a sneaker for you. So starting on the outsole, it's an all black outsole and you've got your Nike SB uh, logo in the middle in this red cutout. At the base of the so you have this uh, pink element right here and that's to signify bubble gum, which is what baseball players are chewing during the game. Turn to the side, you've got an all white midsole and again that's pretty much standard on SB Dunks. Then we come to the upper, so we have a mix of mesh and suede. So we have mesh panelling right here, again that coconut milk colour and again we have this suede all around the side, around the mud guard and also on the medium side as well. Come top of the sneaker, so in the toe box, again, it's all mesh, so that feels quite nice to the touch. So then you have your suede overlays and eyelets going up the sneaker. So you have these laces going up the sneaker in the uh, coconut milk colour to match the side panelling, so I think it's quite fire. 
Then we go up the tongues, the mesh tongue, and at the top of the tongue you have the Nike SB Dunk High Pro in the orange text on the black background. Again, to kind of symbolize the San Francisco Giants color scheme. So in addition to the coconut milk laces, you also get two additional pairs of laces. So you get a black pair and then you get an orange pair. And at the end of the black pair, you have orange tips. And at the blend of the orange pair, you have black tips. So again, quite a subtle detail. On the end of the coconut milk ones, you just have black tips as well. So again, just a little bit of interesting colour there. So we look inside, on the back of the tongue you have another little detail which in this instance is a, a baseball mitt, so you can see right there so again, the baseball theme sneaker, so it kind of makes sense then you go down the sneaker, so on the side you've got the swoosh, again this is in a fabric uh, overlay, so you've got an all black swoosh that goes to the back of the sneaker, and then you've got the orange accent going around the outside again to kind of symbolise the, the colour scheme of the San Francisco Giants as we go down to the back, you've then just got this black heel pool right here on the heel counter. Uh, and again, the switch continues on the medial side. If we look inside the sock liner itself, so again, it's it's black and it's padded. Again, it's going to give you that support. The last detail is on the outsole. You've got Nike SB, and then you've got Air Zoom in that orange writing. These um, SBs are coming with kind of a zoom technology to give additional comfort. So that's the right sneaker. We'll take a quick look at the left. So the left sneaker is exactly the same. The only difference is on the back of the tongue, you have a picture of a yellow canoe and an orange oar. And again, if you've ever seen a San Francisco Giants game, a lot of baseballs will get hit into the water outside the stadium and people will go in their canoes to kind of retrieve the ball. That's kind of like a tradition. So I think it's quite a subtle detail that Nike SB put on the back of the tongue. So I think it's quite fire. I would know it's exactly the same as the right. So in terms of sizing, I went to size and that fits fine. No issues there. Obviously, yeah, well, it has a wide toe box, so again, if you have a narrow foot, you may want to go down half a size. But for me, true to size fits fine. In terms of resale, so it's actually just above retail, um, which is ironic because there are still many pairs available for retail. So I guess this is for um, other markets, because certainly in the UK, there's a full size run available. Quite honestly, it won't need to pay resale unless you're not in the UK. But if you do want to be pre resale, you're not going to pay a huge amount. I think it's quite an interesting observation as well. So, what do you think of the sneaker? Did you cut this or did you pass? Uh, I think a lot of people did pass, hence why there's still a full size run on the Nike sneakers app. Uh, so, you know, if you were interested, you definitely could pick up a pair. For me, I think it's fire. I think, you know, SB Dunk Highs generally are not for, a lot of people are not feeling the SB Dunk Highs. I guess they're kind of bulky and, you know, Highs in general aren't the most popular outside of, like, say, Jordans. So, for me, it's great because it means that I can cop, you know, cool looking sneakers for retail which for a long time hasn't been possible, especially for SBs. Uh, and in the past, I've had to pay resale for, you know, hype SB, shall we say. So to cut to retail is a W for me and really have to have it in the collection. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Stay tuned for the on foot. That is coming up right now. And again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So thanks for checking the video. If this is the kind of content you want to see, you know, anything related to sneaker culture, be it opinions, unboxings, reviews, etc. Please do subscribe and also hit that notification bell to be notified when I do drop new videos. And if you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up as it really will help the channel grow. And until next time, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.